doing today? Today is about cabinets. see we have a little bit of a different background in this video it's been crazy around here but yes, yes. loving the view <laughs> this is part of the reason we didn't have a video last week it was a whirlwind of a week yes we ended up moving into the airstream a few weeks earlier than we had planned almost a month earlier which was but a lot. It's okay. We're finishing it while we're living in it now, and it's actually working out great. But this video is going to be all about installing our cabinetry, um, making curtains, and getting those hung because there's a lot of big windows on this airstream, and we knew we could not move in without some type of curtain. So we make curtains. And then, yeah, just getting things prepared for us to actually move in and it be livable. Yeah, and this video covers a lot. Several weeks pass between different spots. You're going to sit cold, warm, but we've just started calling this one cabinets, curtains, and moving in. <laughs> Let's get into this. <laughs> so we are excited. Yesterday, and I say that a lot, but we are excited about a lot. Lots every every here. stage and every yeah. phase with this airstream is exciting. So exciting. Because so we're one step closer to being done. Yes. So yesterday, we didn't get a lot of this on footage because we were sort of in the thick of things. My grandfather was helping me. And so yesterday, we built this box. We had a different box over the fender. So in an airstream, the fender sort of intrudes into some of the living area. And we had this board that I can't remember the name of this stuff but it's basically like a pressed board like particle board kind of particle yeah and you can see it breaks down very easy especially if it ever has moisture so this was a poor design to have over the fender because you're gonna have moisture over time just accumulate sometimes around those fenders so we wanted to get a much better high quality wood box. And so today- And you rerouted. Yeah, we had to reroute power. That power cord was originally on this side. You have to realize in the original uh, design, this was a dinette area. So there was a seat here, there was a seat there, table in the middle. And so people were actually sitting on that. So we had to reroute power. Today, we are going to install cabinets. So. We bought these cabinets from Lowe's. We felt it would be much easier to go ahead and get a template from Lowe's versus building it from hand. But And we can, this, let me show you. Y'all, it's a mess in here. We're going to get it cleaned up today. This is what cabinets we bought. We bought two Project Source 12 inch base cabinets. So yeah. that's what this one is too. Yep, yeah. and so our thoughts here I wanted something that was level to hold our butcher block bar top that's going to go here, countertop. And again, these are already square from factory, a lot easier. Um, it's what we like to call low hanging fruit. This is a lot easier than me having to build everything from scratch. But what we're going to do is <coughs> I've got to notch this cabinet out. We're going to slide it in. So we're going to lose a little bit of space with that, but basically the fender is going to come into this. But it's going to help push our cabinetry over, this other cabinet to come here, and then this is going to serve as a coffee bar, a place for us to eat. We're going to have several stools here. We'll have a wonderful view at the table for when we want to eat, and then we're going to come down to a workspace for me. So we're working our way from the wall and out, but the first step is getting this cabinet cut. So let's get into this. Let's do it. High five. Fun. High five. Okay, so we've got it yep, so I've got measured. First line pushed basically pretty simple, but I just nothing in the airstream is level. It is level to the floor, but nothing's perfect because of the way these walls are. So it's always better just to set something up against it, trace it out, sort of keep it simple versus just measuring only. Like that. But I think. 
ready to go set up the saw horses and get this cut out. Sometimes you just have to jump into it. It's a little. I feel like that's what we've done this entire thing. Just We're just jumping into it. We're winging it. Well, you just have to go. Like sometimes you can like question yourself a hundred times. But all right, I'm gonna go set these up outside so we can have a good place to cut. Okay, so while he is out there finishing cutting the cabinets, I am in here and I just vacuumed and like cleaned up this space so that it's clean and ready for the cabinet. Okay, so you look like you are just a walk-in commercial for Craftsman. I know. Isn't that right? <laughs> It's, I'm loving it though. These tools work so well. I have loved having battery operated tools because you don't have to worry about plugs and yeah, they're very mobile and quieter. Well, because we don't have like space and land yes. or like a big building to be doing this renovation, we're basically doing this renovation from the inside of our airstream. And so yes. having like the travel friendly tools, battery powered. Right has been really good. It really, really has. Now let's check out, see if this fits. Big reveal. Big moment. All right, hang on, let me get on the other side. Okay. All right, so this slides like this. And then bam. Perfect. So put the drawer, put the drawer back in. So then like I can see. Okay. So the way this works or will work, drawer, no function changes. Okay. Then when you open this door, we're going to encase all of this with um, the same material that these cabinets are made in. So it'll be seamless. So it'll be seamless, but basically this will be storage. This will be storage. Think about your countertop comes across here. And in case this, this will be um, a storage shelf. You can put a basket on. Yeah. We have this. Well, what I'm thinking is I want like maybe you to build a shelf. So then yeah. it's like storage, storage. Right. So whatever we want to do here, now the possibility is open to us. Um, <clears throat> and so what we've done is we've utilized the change of plan where this is now bar stools but we maximize our space. Yes. And that was the whole point. We didn't want to lose this whole area. We didn't want to come all the way up here with cabinetry. Right. So we're maximizing. But because we had overhead cabinetry. We did. I'm just kind of upset we still tore that out. But that had to come out, okay? And I keep telling him to let it go because <laughs> he keeps bringing it up. He's like, well, we have plenty of storage, but I just love how open it is. We're not going to be hitting our heads on anything and we are figuring it out like we are making it um multi-functional so we're gonna be able to eat here do school work here and we're gonna end up having plenty of storage whatever makes you feel good Just and say. it's gonna be cute it's gonna be so cute <laughs> okay on to the next thing ready to get the rest of these set and we'll have a countertop up soon This is fun because, you know, when you're tearing stuff out, even when you're painting, it's hard to keep your eye on the prize. And this has been such a crazy journey for us from the, the buying it to the, trying to fix the leaks to the fixing the floor to the ripping the stuff to that when you start seeing countertops, come in with the walls 
It just put a smile. It just puts a smile on your face. I mean, I just want to go skip somewhere. <laughs> go skipping. Let's go hold hands and go skip. Let's do it. Let's do it. Man, this is so pretty. This is going to be cool. All right. So our next steps is to get this uh, leveled and put together, and then we can talk more about everything from there. You're live. So I feel like we're making a norm out of these late night Lowe's runs, but we've got like this week where we're really just, we're here in North Carolina. We're like really trying to knock out as much work as we can while we're not traveling. So we're making bed frame or a bed frame wood room. So we're getting ready to build our bed frame in the front of our Airstream. We're gonna be using one by fours for the main framing. So we've got our plan together. We're gonna load this up and get the rest of the stuff we need so we can start building it. Yep. It's exciting. start on the bed frame build the past couple days we've been working on countertops we've been working on getting our bar all that stuff for seating together we've put wallpaper in Mandy's been painting but this part of the build is really going to be when things start feeling complete so tonight we're going to take some one by fours we're going to start building out our studs and our framing for the beds let's get into it it's going to be So we're at the Airstream today. We are trying to accomplish what? Yeah, all the stuff. things. All the things. We got, we're building drawers. Yep. For our bed, uh, we are putting up a shelf in the bathroom, finishing pill and stick. Got some boxes for wiring that we got to cover on the wall for our boys' room. And the shower. We're going to try to clean up the shower, re um, paint it, re epoxy. But however it's called we've yeah. bought a kit to like try to get that um looking fresh and new again mm -hmm. so let's do like a little tour of some things that we've already kind of halfway done yeah. but need to finish today yeah because actually now i'm thinking about timeline it's we've not showed you all a lot no and so we're gonna do a quick walk through yeah and we'll show you guys everything we've done up to this point it's exciting it's been a lot we've literally had to go cameras down and just work mm -hmm. but we're almost done yeah. almost across the finish line so, so let's let's do a quick update okay so originally we were thinking that we were going to put a really big u-shaped dinette with a table that would convert to a bed at night but we decided that that was not going to be really feasible for us living in this all through the summer and traveling in it. That would be a great scenario if this was just like a quick weekend, week trip here and there. But because we're going to be in this thing, like living in it, we didn't want to have to do with that hassle every single night. So ultimately what we decided is to create a really big um, day bed, so to speak, in the front. and. So this is gonna double as our bed, mine and Jonathan's bed. We're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna double it as our bed, and then during the day, it'll be like a really big couch. And then we're putting storage underneath. This is something really cool that we can't wait to share. And then what we decided to do for eating space is we had already planned on putting cabinets here. But instead of doing all cabinetry all underneath, we decided to make it a eating space, workspace, 
kitchen counter space. It's like doing all the things and we are thrilled with how it's turning out. So over here we have done some pill and stick. You can see we've got to finish up some little spaces. We have that in, so that's one thing we're gonna try to get done today. All right, so in the bathroom, we were gonna rip this out. We ripped the cabinets out, and then last minute I was like, no, let's leave this. We've gotta create some sort of um, rod or something to help things stay in when we travel. But, so we've left this, painted it. As you can see, we've got to finish this pulling stick, and there's a gap here for good reason. Um, that reason is I started putting the pillow and stick on the incorrect way. <laughs> and so, as like, this was not going to line up with this, because this is straight, and this is curved. So, we decided to improvise, and we're gonna put a really skinny, um, like, a floating shelf across and that will give the illusion so you're getting behind the scenes that the whole thing is not pill and stick tiled but once we have the shelf it'll give the illusion that it's completely covered but you will all know that there's really space right here that we're putting a shelf so it'll look seamless when we're done but we've painted in here we replaced the countertops cute little bowl new faucet this is a big project for today, the shower. We've got to really work on this thing and get it clean and looking good again. Um, and then in the back bedroom, this is going to be the boys' room. We really wanted them to have their own space. So we switched out the lights. We've got cute sconces now for them. We've painted back here. Um, all that's really left to do back here is just some finishing touches. So. Oh, we've got to change that light out, which I bought today. So, it's coming together. It's We are nearing the finish line. Ain't it right, Cosmo? Ain't it right? Okay, change of plans. Uh, the shower is going to have to wait until we have access to water. This is my bad. I did not fully read the instructions. <laughs> To refinishing this and we're not prepared for that today so we're just going to work on um, finishing up pill and stick tile we have a couple things to finish up with this area a couple of stools to put together so we've got plenty to do and hopefully we can get a lot of this like little things finishing touches done and out of the way today Sometimes in life, you're called on to do the dirty jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so let's throw an update of what we're doing today. Yeah. Um, we finally got to the point where we're tackling the shower. We are cleaning it with Clorox. We're going to sand it and we're actually going to recoat it with, I think it's in there. We're going to recoat it with this tub and tile refinishing kit. Um, we really want this white, but we didn't want to replace it. So we're patching any little holes or things that we've changed in the fiberglass, getting it structurally good so it won't leak, and then refinishing it. Huge task today. And then the next part is, believe it or not, we're moving in this today. And you wouldn't <laughs> think so, looking at the bed. And it's pouring rain it's outside. It's pouring rain, but our timeline's got moved up and we're moving in this bad boy today. So it's chaos. Yep. Turn around and just show the class what we got going on there. <laughs> yep. We're moving in today. Moving in today. <laughs> it, uh, it'll be interesting. The campground already texted me. and was like, hey, hope you're enjoying your stay. Would you like to extend it one more night? And I'm thinking we're probably going to need to. Probably. 
because I don't know that we're going to be able to get a lot accomplished today moving stuff. and Because we've got to clean all this first. Yeah, and... Like, and then move stuff in here. Right. And, and then we've got to clean up the fifth wheel before we take it to storage. We're moving the fifth wheel. we got to do some repairs there and get it ready to be sold eventually. So, it's just a lot going on today. Yes. So we did ready. not need this rain. We did not need this rain in our life. No. no I mean, I've had to hang didn't. my raincoat in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I keep coming in and out. It's terrible. Mm. But that's what we're doing today. Yep. Let's go. Yep. We're ready. Cut. Uh, how about oh. the back? Oh. Oh. So we've got the first coat. And it's looking a little bit better. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. We've got the first coat on. So we cleaned with bleach this morning. Um, cleaned up all of the nooks and crannies. I did a light sanding job. And now this is what the second coat is going to look like compared to the first coat. And so this is really brightening up this entire space. It's changing the whole way it looks. It's making something old new again, which is what we wanted. We didn't want to replace this whole shower. Uh, we just wanted to sort of touch it up. It's come along good. Well, I'm getting this. Um, Swift. Are you going to attach this other board or are you going to just let it rock because it's kind of wedged in? I'm asking you. Probably whatever you want. Well, either way, I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. Okay. So we, that way, it's this cabinet. It's easy to attach. Tell, tell me, tell me again what you said. What's that? What did you just tell her? Paint it again? No, about what? You said probably whatever you want me to do. Oh, probably whatever you want me to do. That's <laughs> what I. You're exactly right. I say that so often. That's just my go. That's my go-to. <laughs> Well, I would just go ahead and paint it. That way this cabinet's painted. I just thought it was sweet that she gave me an idea. <laughs> okay, so we have the final a third coat on here. It's drying, but it looks so much better. Not sure what we're going to end up doing with this stuff because it's... I might try to take all that off and spray paint them and put them back on. But it looks a hundred times better. We're going to replace right here with um, a towel rod like was there. So, looks a lot better. Okay, so today we are working on curtains. We priced out the nice roller shades, which maybe eventually we'll upgrade to, but they were quite expensive. So, I got to looking and I found a no-so... DIY option that someone had done in their house and so we're gonna try to modify it a little bit to work in here but I'm basically we're gonna take curtains that I bought at the store we're cutting them down and we're gonna add some leather straps to them so we can just like roll them up so we're gonna try this out and cross our fingers that it works Okay, so we practiced, hang on, hang on. Let me see this one first. Mm -hmm. So we practiced to make sure we could figure it out. There we go. So we're putting these little eyelets in and then we're hanging that onto these little gold hooks. And then the finishing touch will be these straps that will help roll them up and down. So he's gonna put this second hole in. Okay, so you push in here like that, that creates the hole in the fabric. Alright, let me see that part. Okay, it's so there's a hole. See. Yep. Get through. Like that. Mm-hmm. Add the back in. Add the back in. Should we do it this way? 
I don't know. I don't know which way it goes. Which way did I do that? Way? That way. The same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then take a little handy dandy tool. We got all of this stuff that we needed between Michaels and Joanne Fabrics. And then you crimp it. And then from there. It's a moment of truth. A moment of truth. Did the thumb measurement work? It don't fit. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is not funny. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I love the little flower look to it, too. Yeah. And okay. then, then the, the idea is we're going to measure this to the, whatever the bottom is, and we're yeah. going to put magnets. So, like, when we want to roll it up, we'll roll it. And then when we want to have it down, mm -hmm. so it's not just, like, flying out are we like roll that. It this way? Or are we going to roll it no, this way? That way. So we'll roll it this way in, but yeah, yeah. So, but the concept is when it's down, it magnetizes, we'll have it where a magnets pull it so that way, yeah, it sort of helps. And then when we roll it, yeah. and, and now we're about to a whole bunch of leather, too. The yeah. leather actually will have to go on here first and then last, mm, yeah, okay. okay. Okay, so we just did the first one. How cute! Pretty cool, all right. So basically. Take our three sixteenths. That's yeah. Come in, we flip right in here. Punch the hole. Probably need to be catching these. They're getting everywhere. Come out the face. The front. Push the back. And then crimp it. Crimp it on. Bam. All right. I'll show you what I was thinking, and then now I'll show you what I understand what you're saying. All right, so this comes out of the way. This goes like this. Sorry. Yeah. All right, so that's down like this. Yeah. And then... All right, then that's on here. Yeah. I have not thought about... Like, I always thought these would stay attached and just over to the side. Uh-huh. Like, always on the loop. Yeah. And then when you roll them, then you just tuck them. But you were just saying, come off like they're hanging like that. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll see, what, we'll, we'll see what works better for us. Oh, wait. Oh, I see, see what, what you're saying? asking. <laughs> we are not on the same page. No, we're not. Uh-oh. This one's a little tighter than I was hoping. Okay. Um, kind of. Let's touch that up. Yeah, it's because this put like. Yeah. There you go. But see, then the. Oh, like and this. then you just tuck it in. Yeah, that's, that was what I was thinking. Oh, okay. Well, let's put the other one on and then see. Yeah, and you don't have to take them on and off, right? Oh. I can, you know, as long as that yeah. doesn't look bad. As long as yeah. that doesn't. Well, I mean, it's only going to be at night. Yeah. Then, once we get this one cooked. This is, this is the. Uh... Oh, man, I just got all these. This will be the. Um, this will just be a morning chore. Every morning we come in and roll these up. Kind of like washing the dishes. Make yeah. the kids do it. So then and then just, just tuck them in and it holds it. Yep. So, you know, we'll, we'll perfect how we roll yeah. it and stuff. But, yeah. There you go. Cut that. That's cute. Yeah, I think that does fantastic. That's really cute. It's not like too much. Yeah, it's not a perfect solution, but it's, um, I think it's fantastic. I think it looks cool. It puts a cool, like, dynamic with the leather. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. And this is like, um, a fraction of the cost. All the materials, probably like $110. Yeah, versus versus nine hundred yeah. for roller shades. So basically, when you're ready for sleep, just push that over, push that over, and this yep. comes down. And then once we put our magnets here in a moment, it'll magnetize. Cool. Cool.
covers a lot. I just get tired. <laughs> <laughs> I get tired just editing this whole journey. Yeah, it's, been it's such a it has time. been a lot. This has taken four months. Yep. Nonstop. We've been sick four times. We think we have just been so run down from just go, 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 mm -hmm. that yeah. it just compromised our immune system. Yep. But I think we're on the up and up. We are. Now that it's done, I think we can just, it's, you know, up from here. And so, so let's talk about some of our solutions. Yeah. We loved how the coffee bar turned out. Oh, We yeah. went back and forth on how we were going to design that. At first, we were going to like, have the coffee bar one height and then have it drop down for a workspace because I work remotely. I'm on my laptop a lot, editing videos, working. Yeah, we were going to yes. have it um, just cabinets and drawers yep. mm -hmm. when the original plan was to have like the U-shaped dinette at the front. Yeah. So the design and the functionality evolved as we got in and really started working on it. Yeah. And while we discovered like what would work best for us living in this full time and I love 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 how it has turned out yes and and that's the fun thing just, about yeah. airstreams too mm -hmm. is you make them your own when you yeah. hit the renovate them you take this half circular space and you make it you a reflection of who you yeah. are and that, I feel like that's, this is, yeah yeah that's what makes it so much fun okay so what's coming up we are going to be sharing a final reveal soon. Yep. Uh, in the end, everything we did, show you every little granular detail. We can't wait to get in that, but we also don't want to rush it because we've had a few more upgrades yeah. and things that we've had to do to finish the rig, even though we've moved into it. Yeah. So we're still finished. Well, it's kind of been a double-edged sword because while it has been great mm -hmm. to move in and yeah. like really start living in it, at the same time, I'm like, hmm, I could probably do this a little bit different or I could do that a little bit yeah, different. For sure. So I've had a couple of new ideas, especially for the boys room. And so we want to work on that and just get all the like finishing touches done. Yes. And, and, then, and we have some traveling coming up. We do. The maiden voyage to take this Airstream. And I know what you may be thinking. You're in it all the time. Why does it matter? But it matters. Oh, for when sure. When we're on vacation. Yes. This is work time. We're always working. We're living. It's day to day. But we treat vacation differently. And we can't wait to get this girl on her first maiden voyage to us mm -hmm. vacation. Yeah. And we're going to one of our very favorite campgrounds that we've actually never camped yeah. In a camper. It's what inspired us to want to get an RV. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. We stayed there in cabins and loved it. And we've always been like, we want to go back there when we have a camper. And yes. so we're going to do it in a couple of weeks. Yep. It's a lot of it's fun things fun. coming. So yep. we're going to keep throwing these videos your way. I hope you're enjoy enjoying the journey as much as we have, or at least enjoying it. And we can't wait to see you next time.